Hey friends, welcome back. I am in the beautiful city here in Shiraz in Iran and uh, today's video I have no idea what it is about but I wanted to kick it off from here because this here where I am right now is very interesting. This is called Quran Gate and the reason why it's called Quran Gate is because on top of it there is the Quran book and the reason why there's a Quran book and the gate like this it's built for travelers the concept is actually quite interesting so it's built for travelers where every time in the past people used to travel they used to put a Quran the book above their head and they walk underneath it as of like wishing you good luck and safe journey and this is pretty much what I am doing right now you know so the Quran is above me and I'm walking under it and pretty much I'm having a safe all the way to um, to wherever I'm going on this trip well the idea is to go all the way to India of course from Europe to India by land and uh, so far so good it's quite good actually very beautiful this is it I just wanted to see it you can see the Iranian flag over there very nice area actually here very beautiful anyway I'm gonna go back to the taxi and we're gonna head over to Shiraz city and see what this video is about I don't know really <laughs> So on my way back to the taxi driver, he was like, you should go up and take a picture of it. Have a look at it from different angle from the top. Amazing. What a scene like. Very beautiful. Shiraz city in the distance. Traffic is mad here in Iran. Pretty much everywhere you go. This is Quran Gate. Oh, it's amazing. And the book should be inside here, it's covered, of course. Very beautiful. Right, let's head over to the city and kick off with this video. Uh, <laughs> actually, I was thinking like there it could be, I might want to visit Vakil Mosque. Also, I want to grab something to eat. Okay, huh? Okay! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> right, made it back to the city center. You can see behind me where I am right now. This is like the heart of Shiraz, pretty much all this area here. Um, if you're curious what this is, actually I did visit it already yesterday and uh, I vlogged about it. There's a video about it, uh, link will be below. But for now, I'm just gonna walk around a little bit and uh, find a place to eat something traditional hopefully so a restaurant and a coffee shop here salam restaurant yeah mamnoon wow look at this place hello salam you speak english no problem <laughs> you have an english menu it's a restaurant, no? For food? Yes, yes. Okay. Restaurant. Where where can I go? Where where can I go? Right, right. Right, here? Yeah. Oh up? Yes. Wow, look at the space. So cool. Right, let's go up. Salam. Salam. Amazing. How are you? How are you? How are you? Good? <laughs> restaurant? Restaurant? On this one? Okay. Egg. Huh? One. One. Yeah. <laughs> Just random, like, you know, you guys <laughs> always say yes, 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 yes. Hello. Hello. Very nice. Many of you? English menu? Oh, perfect. We have English menu here. 
Man, I would have loved like if there is like seedings outside, you know. But the Iranians are usually like you know they're very cold now, even though it's not that cold. <laughs> Salam. How are you? Good. How are you? <laughs> so look at this place here. It's a it's just a room with people. <laughs> she's camera shy, but she's super friendly. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna have a look at the menu and see what I can order. Uh, I'm definitely gonna stay away from the kebab as well. <laughs> I have actually ordered the food and it's it's an experience ordering food here and I'm so glad there was a lady, like they brought me a lady who speaks uh, good English, well, good enough English actually to be able to have a conversation with her about the meal that I'm ordering. And again, we are going for a local, food and I'm so glad with that staying away from the kebab uh, challenge completed or <laughs> or yeah the goal the goal achieved basically but look at this room where I'm sitting right now traditional restaurant here in Shiraz the frame pictures very old and I love those plates they make here very authentic the people are gone, by the way. They were super funny and friendly as well. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's give this food a taste taste, shall we? When it arrives. Right, the food is served. And here it is. So it's rice with like chunk of meat here. And this is butter also. And I'm not sure what this, I think it's like onion, the yellow thing kind of. And of course it's served with onions, some herbs, and pickle, and like a coleslaw kind of Iranian style. And a slice of lemon. You get like this typical, it's very typical here, the way how it's always served to me. Let's give it a taste test. I will be mixing that butter also as well with a rice. And we're gonna dig in. I love this like. There it is. The Iranian food is incredible. It really is. Um, this is amazing, man. The portion also is huge, like the amount of rice here. It's quite decent, like, you know, size, you know? And with all the vegetables, you can't really complain. Here, another bite. <laughs> oh, it's really good. I'm gonna smash this and we'll continue the trip. I think we're gonna go to the Kill Mosque. I think. Demolished it. Have a look. Finished it all. Completely done oh my god man i could go for a siesta right now i know i always say that like but it's true you know <laughs> all right let's continue exploring and here we are at vakil mosque in this beautiful square around me behind me there you can see this inside is the bazaar and this is the gate to vakil mosque and I did say like in a previous video that I really wanted to go and visit it and I actually came off from the bazaar and I went just a little bit in just to check it out and I was like wow look at it from the outside here it's gorgeous and this is the entrance very beautiful I do have a feeling that is going to be a lot similar to the um, to the mosque in Isfahan that I visited Salam how are you? Yeah? <laughs> Can I go and visit the mosque, please? Where do you come from? I'm from Ireland. Ireland? Yeah. Where are you from originally? Iran. Iran. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Do I pay 50? <laughs> yes. Or 5, sorry. 5. 5,000 tomorrow. Thank you. Mamnoon. Mom, no. You too. I had to do it, you know. 
if I am mistaken by an Iranian, then I gotta pay an Iranian rate and finally it paid off. I love it. And here we are. This is just where I entered and you can see the mosque is like a square. Gorgeous. And there's a beautiful fountain here in the middle and I am so glad to see it active and running and it goes all the way around and they can pray or read the Quran here but let's walk from inside shall we <laughs> I still I can't believe it <laughs> paid local price oh finally paid off <laughs> looking like an Iranian here finally this is the first place I pay as a local I love it <laughs> The gate is incredible. So you can see like all around it's all the same. But I want to go maybe like from inside there and we'll go there and yeah I see some different columns there. And you see like these are like they're all different pieces right like that's the star this different shape, different shape. And they placed them like, you know, by hand, one piece at a time, which is incredible. Look at this roof. The ceiling is amazing. I like the color. Look at this shot. <laughs> right. Oh man, that is beautiful. Oh my God. Look at this. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wow, I like it. Those columns are beautiful. So nice. Oh, look at this for a shot now. Let's get over there. I see more tiles. Oh, it's so gorgeous. This mosque is actually beautiful. I like it. Wow. I like... Ah. But why? I don't understand this. Look how gorgeous this is. By the way, you see here the blue over there. I'm not sure if I'm pointing at it correctly, but this is actually writings. You know, um, I think it's written Allah or Allah. Look at this for a shot. Wow. <laughs> It's incredible. And look at that again, I've said it before in different in previous videos, but I'll say it here as well. The beauty about Iran. Well, it's like the beauty for me, but not of course for the country or for the people. There aren't so many tourists here. This is a touristic destination and location. And Vakil Mosque is like one of the most see places, but it's completely empty. Um, sad. It's a pity, but it's good for me. Wow. See here, there are writings over there. The texture, the flowers, pink and yellow in Shiraz. Pink and yellow in Shiraz. Uh, yellow and blue in Isfahan, if I remember correctly. And in Tehran, what was it? So every mosque I've noticed, and also uh, Mirza, my guide in Tehran, she mentioned it, every mosque that you go to in each city, the colors of the tiles changes, which is uh, interesting, like, you know, the concept behind it. I'm not, I'm not sure what is the reason, but fairly interesting. Look at this now. <laughs> wow. So beautiful. There's not much there 
it's fairly exactly symmetrical whatever is there is actually here but I've said it before like <clears throat> I don't understand the concept of the mosques in Iran like I have visited previously mosques and in other countries and I understand them but here like I mean you can't even see people are praying you know like yeah they're on the sides there they have some like carpets and obviously some people can pray here but you can't even hear the call of prayers coming out from here you can't see the imam i don't know like is it built like just only for tourism i don't get it it's uh it's interesting right super gorgeous i like this vakil mosque i like it let's get a little bit closer to this gate because i've entered from there and i went around like this and from inside and now I want to see it up closer but this is not a gate obviously there's no door very beautiful anyway with that being said and <clears throat> with the good food the Quran gate and Vakil mosque of course I will put an end to this video if you have made it this far thank you all for watching please do consider subscribing if you have not subscribed already give the video a thumbs up it does help me and it helps with the algorithms and as always see you on the next one